Let's turn to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer tracking what's now Tropical Depression Sally as it moves northeast tonight. Craig? Elliot, the good news is it's weakening quickly as it moves to the northeast now, a tropical depression. So that takes out the wind damage component from it, but there is still the flood component because it's a big, big rainmaker, and it will continue to be so as it moves to the northeast. Here's the 12-hour radar loop across the area. It made landfall about 545 this morning right along the Alabama-Florida border and has continued to move to the northeast through the afternoon and evening. And this area right here is where the heaviest rain is now in eastern parts of Alabama and Georgia headed for the Carolinas. The latest advisory is of 11 p.m. It's a depression now. Winds at 35 miles an hour, picking up speed, moving to the northeast at 9, about 30 miles to the south southeast of Montgomery, Alabama. The future track, no longer a threat cone because no more tropical storm conditions expected, just where the center is expected to go and expected to dissipate by Friday as it runs into a front across the area. But the rain is going to be the big issue. In fact, here, computer model forecast of the rain there, anywhere from 4 to 8 inches expected along this track. Now, parts of the Carolinas here have been in the drought, so those folks are welcoming the rain. In the tropics, that's not the only thing we're tracking. We have Hurricane Teddy. We have weakening tropical storm Vicky. This wave out here, the development potential has gone down to medium, and we have high development potential on the disturbance in the western Gulf. We'll talk about all of it, plus our forecast, which includes the possibility of a cold front coming up.